getting on, but it's it's so funny how um, you and not just you, um, people in general say um, you're a celebrity makeup artist, and I'm like, <laughs> I, I like I appreciate the compliment, but for me, I'm like, um, I'm a makeup artist. I'm. Yeah. I'm, Girl, I will put some respect on your name. Okay. Like, no, it's just like, I don't want the people to think I'm just for the celebrities, honey. You book an appointment, you're going to be. You're going to be. You book an appointment, you're going to be. You're going to be. You're going to be. Like, I'm, everybody gets to be when they book an appointment. So it's, it's like, like I said, I'm humbled and I appreciate when people refer to me as a celebrity makeup artist. But, honey, I'm not all for the celebrities. <laughs> you you for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but definitely, I um that's what it is. That's what I do. And um, yeah, there's an extended list for my DMV people. Um, we got Autumn Joy, we got Guy Lambert, you know. Um, who else? I mean, it's just so the the list goes on and on and it's it's a fun experience, but you also have to be able to take the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. um, and what I mean by that, I talked about me being on television and film. And you know, you've been on um, film sets before. There are two different dynamics. Television is like quick, this time you gotta be here. This person has to be on set at this time, da, da, da. Movies, are a lot different. You have to have a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to move around on the set. You know, mm -hmm. you have to. Um, it's a lot of sitting and waiting. It's a lot of sitting and waiting. You have to be prepared to hurry up and wait. Yep. It is um, a lot of continuity. That is a word that you will hear time and time again. Mm -hmm. Continuity. Mm -hmm. um, so. There's a lot of that making sure that the looks are in line with mm -hmm. um, what the scene is. Um, Before you move forward, because continuity is a very, so explain to them what continuity means before we move forward, because that's very, very important, especially for someone that's interested in working and being in makeup and on set. And, you know, like that's very important. So explain to them what that means. Absolutely. So continuity is when we sit down and we watch a movie. To us, the movie looks like, okay, this day happened and then they went to the next day and things of that nature and the movie continues on. You know, they were in the coffee shop drinking coffee, talking, they were walking down the street, whatever is happening in the movie in that one scene. That's how it looks to the viewer. However, that one scene, depending, especially depending on how many people are in that scene, um, it took a few days to record. Right. It took multiple days. So when you see a scene and, you know, they, the lady, you know, the couple, they walk out the house and they get in the car and they go to the coffee shop and they have a cup of coffee and then they come out and, you know, they go to the festival or whatever. I'm just giving you a timeline. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's one continuous day. However, us on set took us about 10 days to give you that one day of shooting or that one scene, that one day of a scene, you know? And so you have to keep what's called continuity. You're shooting a scene that all happened in one day. I can't have her with the smoky eye and a new lip in one scene and the next day with the red lip and a matte eye in the next because I've thrown off the continuity. It's the same day. So what happens is you have to have pictures yep. um, of everything. Um, and you know this as a stylist and designer. As a stylist and designer, it's even harder than the makeup because the makeup, I just need the picture of what that look is. Mm -hmm. But when you are um, the stylist or the designer or the costume designer on a set, you need everything. You need to know that I had on this necklace with this ring, this watch. I had on this black shirt, these black pants. My face looked exactly like this. Like, it has to be the same. You have to keep the continuity. 
because if you don't keep the continuity now in editing what they've realized is that the scenes don't match up and now if the scenes don't match up they have to re-record that whole scene the whole and thing guess what do you know how many thousands upon thousands of dollars that costs thousands <laughs> people oh, don't get it much. they don't get and it guess who won't have a job after that you fired <laughs> <laughs> because you forgot to put that hat on that dude or put the wrong lipstick shade. It's so serious. People don't understand the severity of continuity when it comes to like movie sets and stuff like that. It's very it important. Is trust me. I mean, I have been on sets where something as simple, a scene had to be re-recorded for something as simple as mm -hmm. someone not having on the wedding band that they were supposed to have on or, yep. you know, something like that because it will throw the continuity all the way off you never see that person so it's very um it's very intricate what i tell people all the time the moment that you decide that you want to work in film because it seems exciting from the outside of the land and don't get me wrong it does have its thrills like you know i'm the person who after all the blood sweat and tears um Months later, when I look and the movie comes out, I'm like, oh, my baby, look, look, and I'm so excited. Um, and it's a great thing, but you have to be able to, like, thug it through because we're talking about 12, 13 hour days. And, you know, you know, if you want that style inside, after they say, cut or it's a wrap for the evening your work still ain't done because you got to go prepare for tomorrow you got to separate the looks you got to have it together you got to know what looks you're doing for the scenes you got to study the script to see you know what it is i mean you can't have it going to you know to dinner in a prom dress or whatever you got to you know she, right. if it's the daytime and she's going out for tea you know it may be a bit much for her to be smoked all the way out with a deep red lip you know right it really depends and so you have to be able to study the script and imagine yourself as this character. Mm -hmm. how look, how would they dress? And when you imagine yourself, you have to understand who the character is because mm -hmm. the character isn't you. The character and the character isn't the talent either. The character is the character. And so you have to understand who the character is when you're creating a look for someone. So it's definitely a lot of homework and a lot of research when you go into film. Yeah. So speaking of film, which movie sets? Because I know just last year you worked on two like major movie sets that if I can remember. So yes. what, what are some of the movie sets that you've worked on? And let them know where they appear so they can so the viewers can go back and actually watch the movies and Absolutely. say, yes. who did the makeup for that? Last year, the set that you saw me on was um, the Chris, um, wait a minute. The Christmas Lottery. There we go. I had to make sure I had it right. The Christmas Lottery. And that was starring um, Reginald Vell Johnson, who um, we all know as Carl Winslow on Family Matters. Um, Miss Asia Epperson, who, like I said, she was in um, Straight Outta Compton. She was in many different movies. Um, let's see. It also had Miss... Um, what is her name? Candace. Uh, don't kill me. I can't remember her last name. Candace Dillard. Huh? Dillard. Candace Dillard. Okay. Okay. From the Real Housewives of Potomac. Mm -hmm. Um, it had Brave Williams in it. Um, and she's the number of movies she's in is countless. She and all three of these ladies are also um very amazing musical entertainers. Um. It also had um, Rest Her Soul, Tracy Braxton in it, but a lot of um, amazing people and faces in it. Um, that is a movie that can be seen on BET. Um, actually, um, most of them can be seen on BET because that's a lot of what I do my production with. That movie was shot with Octet, shout out to Octet, mm -hmm. um, Chuck and Brie. But that was... Um, that was one of the movies, the movies, the movie before or the last movie that I did, I'm sorry, was, um, I'm sorry, I'm just having a brain just. Wasn't it something Christmas? That that was the Christmas lottery. That was the one that I just described. The one prior to that was, was um, 
Christmas. Oh my God, I'm looking at the movie now in my head. I can't think of the name of it, um, but it starred Jasmine Burke, um, who is an amazing actress. Um, Angrily Ever After. Whew, thank you. Yeah, that's, I don't know why I said Christmas. That's what I was <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Because she was going to get that. married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was just an amazing movie, um, period. Um, good Life Lesson. Go catch that. That is on BT. Um, Secrets, the movie um, starring Denise Boutte, um, Denise Lawton. Um, they were on Meet the Browns and a bunch of the Tyler Perry films and stuff like that. So some great work. And you definitely can go to my IMBD and research all the other films and movies I've done. Um, so, yeah. Those were the, the most recent ones that I've worked on. That's amazing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so as a makeup artist, and um, you don't have to say the exact amount, you ch can choose not to answer if, if you decide you don't want to. But with the jobs that you get, like how much do you usually get paid for like a beat, like for someone that wants to get their face done for a wedding. And I know all the prices will differ also too, depending on the levels of where you are in your life. Like your day 56 is not going to be someone's day 3,400, you know, so I know the prices would be different, but around.